Hi guys, how's it going? Ivano here and today we are talking about the five most OP and fun tacticals in Star Wars The Old Republic PvP. At number five we have two cloaks. Two cloaks gives you a second use of your force cloak ability, which is of course your battle vanish. So that means that Assassins and Shadows now don't have two lives like they used to, but now they have three. This tactical allows you to defend node forever. If you have another shadow using this, then you're pretty much never losing a pylon ever again. But you can also use it offensively to reset your shadow craft legendary for a crazy burst window. So it's really versatile, really good tactical, and that's why it's in number five. At number four, we have superheated fuel. Now this one is OP in PvP, but also in PvE. You can use it on Pyrotech Power Tech, but also on Shield Tech, which is the tank. And of course, if you're playing Republic, then you can use it for Shield Specialist, the Vanguard Tank, and Plasma Tech. It gives you 15 seconds of automatic crits. And because of how the game works, these crits are going to be super crits. So they will hit harder as your critical rating gets converted to extra critical damage. This one is really OP because, well, it gives you 15 seconds of incredibly overpowered damage, is really consistent, and if you time it right, it's almost always a guaranteed kill. On number three, we have the T0R0 Ionic Discharge. This one is the best in slot for engineering snipers and saboteur gunslingers. This one gives you 50% more damage on explosive probe, which happens to be an auto crit and also your biggest hitter. And in the tree, there's an extra critical damage percent that you can pick up. And altogether, that gives you insane crits of up to 160, 170k. No other class is even close to hitting those kinds of numbers. And that's why Ionic Discharge is really OP. At number two, we have Neural Trigger. Now this one is what every power tech, Vanguard and their grandmother are currently using. I've made a whole separate video about why it's OP. But the short version is that it gives you a 2 second hard stun on a 15 second cooldown. It is the only 30 meter stun in the game. And because you trigger it with Neural Dart, it does not require a global cooldown. So you can do damage while you're stunning your target. It is OP because what it means is that healers never get to cast when you're sitting on them. Ranged players do not get to run away from you. And you cannot outplay it either because the stun will trigger at any point during the taunt. So if you think that you can avoid it with your operative role, nope, sorry. You're just going to be stunned once the roll buff wears off. So combo this with your thermal detonator energy burst combo and your target cannot use a defensive and is just going to get one shot. A note on this one, you can get this only from crafting or the GTN. But be aware that it's scheduled for a nerf in 7.3, so abuse it while it's still there. At number one, we have cut to pieces, and this is without a doubt the most broken tactical, but also most fun tactical in the game right now. It is the reason why your juggernaut friend needs a new pair of pants after each war zone where there's a good stack ongoing. Cut to pieces gives you almost unlimited AoE potential by reducing the cooldown on your biggest AoE attack every time that your dots crit. And conveniently, that same ability is also your dot spreader. So if you get into a good AoE fight, it's pretty much a one button mashing rotation and the damage is absolutely nuts. Honestly, this tactical feels like you're hacking the game or something. And it's so good that in my opinion, it should not be allowed, but it's there. And it's the most fun you can have in Star Wars The Old Republic PvP right now. So if you haven't done so already, you should definitely give this one a try. That's all I have for today, guys. If you enjoyed this short video, please remember to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.